What are you doing out here all alone, huh? So late at night, no less. Oh, I was just doing some research. And how can you get on to me for being out here when you're the one skinny dipping in the dark? <laughs> Wait a minute, so are you complaining? It's my job to make your heart skip a beat. I think you'd be an awesome queen one day. Well, seeing as you are kind of like our king, are you trying to suggest that perhaps you'd like to eventually marry me? Uh, I meant more like a queen that you'd see in a chess game, maybe. <laughs> You're always so silly. Honestly, though, in my opinion, that makes you even more charming. <laughs> what do you want for a reward? Just name your price and it'll be all yours. Wait, anything I want? Sure, I mean, if it's within my power to give. You mean that? Okay. Well, in that case, I'd like to ask you for a pat on the head. That's really all you want? A pat on the head from you is the greatest reward I could ever imagine. Okay, I guess that's easy enough to do. <laughs> you should see yourself, Rune. You're just like a loyal little puppy. Woof! Woof! <laughs> Excuse me? Is my request somehow funny to you? Nope, it's totally cool. <laughs> For what it's worth, I've always found your naivete to be a very charming quality. You should really try not to be so hard on yourself all the time. Thank you for saying so, Felicia. It's only the truth. You don't have to thank me, especially since I'm the one who summoned you. It's the least I can do. Hey, wait a sec! I respect your charming naiva, whatever it is, too! Thank you as well, Rune. Oh, sure! Uh, it's been a while since I've had a good night's rest. I feel like I'm raring to go. Yes, that much seems fairly obvious. <laughs> Maybe I could help you out with that. It must be hard having all that energy stored up. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass, but thank you for offering. Oh? I think your top half and your bottom half don't quite agree with each other. Stop it, Felicia, or I will execute you for making our lord uncomfortable! Listen, Rune. It's common knowledge that men have to clean out their pipes every once in a while, or it can be bad for their plumbing. Wait, is that how it works? Really? Be reasonable. If it's not with us, it'll just be with some other woman. We might as well send him off with some proper experience, don't you think? Well, that's a valid argument. Wait, do you actually believe her? Okay then, I know that my body's more muscular than Kirby, but I'll offer it to you anyway. Uh, the only thing I want right now is breakfast. I'm starving. True. You shouldn't do anything too strenuous on an empty stomach. He should really give in to his urges. If nothing else, it might help relieve some of the stress from his daily duties. All right, everyone! Time to remove the slag! No way, you two! Hey! It's been a while, huh, Ingrid? Not sure why you look so surprised, though. Uh, no reason in particular. I just didn't realize you were already back in the city. Some friend you are. Everybody else seems to know I'm here. Hey, some of us have been breaking our backs at the forge since yesterday! So I can't really spare the time to think of you. Well, I can always come back later if you're busy. You've already interrupted me! There's no point in you leaving now. Might as well stick around. Ahem. Sorry, Lady Ingrid, but as I've reminded you before, you need to be more respectful to the Patriarch. Apologize. Ah! Are you serious? Okay, then. It's just kind of weird since I've known him for so long, you know? And you know what they say, old habits die hard! Anyway, I guess I'm trying to say I'm sorry! <laughs> don't laugh, damn it! I mean, <laughs> please don't laugh at me, sir. You don't have to change anything. Honestly, I wouldn't know what to think if you were suddenly nice. Yes, I agree. When it's just the two of you, I think it's fine to use your regular names and be more informal. Wait, what do you mean? Like, alone? I don't think she means anything weird by it. She just means like if we were to make something together again. Right, of course, I knew that. It's my sole mission in life to help Big Brother relax. A uh, wrong, it's my mission. I'm sorry, Rune. I'm afraid you're not equipped for this particular task. What would I need exactly? You need bigger pillows, obviously. <laughs> mine are so small. Yes, but mine aren't. The 
brother, please. Big brother, please. Right. Why are you in the bath with me again? Because we're your escort, silly, and it's our job to make sure you're safe at all times. Plus, this is enemy territory. Even bathing is far more dangerous here. Well, I'm clean enough, so I think I'm gonna get out now. <laughs> Linnea? What are you doing here? Well, I... I have something important to discuss with you, big brother. Uh, but can it wait until later? Is it something you have to talk about right now? It can't wait... I... I want... for us... for you? I want you to marry me! Huh? <gasps> what now? Come again? Listen, not only is it rude to interrupt his bath, but it's also rude to make a request like that out of the blue. Etiquette demands that at the very least you should offer to wash Big Brother's back first, and then you can propose marriage to him. Is that a real rule? I'll do it. Seriously? Just turn around so we can get started already. Wow, I never realized how broad a man's shoulders are compared to a girl's. And you're so hard, big brother. I'm what? I'm sorry, am I being too rough? Nope, you're doing it just right. <clears throat> I'd like to switch places now, if you don't mind. Not a chance. If anything, it's my turn next. No way! I called it. So what? Look, Rune, you're his daughter, remember? I'm his sister, so that means I go first. Uh, you know what? I think my back is plenty clean now. <laughs> what? You look pretty happy. Of course, I'm gonna be Big Brother's wife, so I'm learning to sing in case I ever need to cheer him up. Wait, that's not true. Watch! Soon I'll make my debut as the first singing, dancing patriot. This preview is useless.